What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another TLEV Media Construction Update. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure to follow us all on our social medias and on YouTube. Um, we are back here at Universal Studios Hollywood and the reason for that is because we have already another update for the Halloween Horror Nights construction. It's only been two days since we've been here, so let's go see what it is. So why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. Alrighty, we have entered the park now. As you can tell, quality is a little different today because uh, this was such a last minute trip that all we got is the phone today. So uh, don't mind the quality on this, but as you can tell, we're here because there is already another update for Halloween Horror Nights. And this time it's in a location that I'm very, happy about so let's go check it out so I mean we've gone over it before of course we have such an awesome facade here for monstros but as of today we have started working on the scare zone right around the corner for luchadors so let's go and check it out so as we enter you can see we got decorations up now oh man look at this ladies and gentlemen now we'll walk through with the amazing French music too. But as you can see, this is my first time seeing all this. We got a little zombie luchador. <laughs> Very odd looking, if, if I don't say so myself. He does look a bit weird. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see if in the middle of the night if he's gonna look a little better. But uh, I don't know, man. A little creepy looking. As you can tell, ah, oh, we got the signs up too. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is so sick. I love seeing all of this. This is so awesome to see. Just right here. This is awesome. And of course, we have all of the posters up that they did talk about at Midsummer Scream that there was going to be these posters. And we got one over here. Remember, these two at the bottom. These guys are the uh, the dynamic duo, especially the tag team against monsters like that. Um, and then we have this one over here. Yet again, one of the tag team members. I forget what his name was, but it was like the blue demon or something like that. And then we have the skeleton one right there. Hey guys, Mr. E here. So of course, when I was trying to upload this video, I got hit with an epic, epic copyright claim um i was talking about in this video how much i enjoyed the french music but well now now i'm not too happy about the french music anyways uh yeah just here i was talking about that i'm really happy now that they are covering up the gates with those halloween horror night signs they used to just leave the gates out like that and then all of these really cool universal monster characters luchadors um it's very much like a a nod to old luchador videos where they would have um their own versions of the universal monsters um and they would call them knockoff names essentially like the wolf person or something like that um and so yeah i mean this was a really cool poster to show the two versing the monsters um and uh, yeah, I was happy to see that. Um, and then here, this is the screen that you will be seeing as you come out of the maze. At least that's where it's set up right now. And I'm assuming on this screen, we're going to be seeing the um, Luchador, the tag team, either fighting the monsters or like some promo for them, which would be cool. And uh, here, you guys will be able to hear once again. So that will be the first thing that you see is going to be the screen. So you're gonna come out from here and then you're going to enter French Street. There's the screen. And then all over here, we're gonna have the scare actors. And here is our final sign right here towards the end of the scare zone. Look at that. That one, this one might be my favorite. This one are either the ones with the majority of the universal monsters, but yeah, I'm hoping they add more, but 
I can't wait for the scare zone. Now, what I'm kind of disappointed that we don't see is some sort of, you know, wrestling ring. I feel like that would have been perfect for this area is if we had some sort of wrestling ring over here, at least maybe even like just down the sides of the uh, screens and stuff like that. Like if they were to make the uh, the gates or whatever, like something around the screens and the posters that looks like the ropes of a wrestling ring. I feel like that would really add a little more to the scare zone. And we have stopped by to look at more of the construction for the Fast and Furious coaster. Literally guys, I was here two days ago and already more has been added. As you can see, we have some more supports coming in for literally the stall point of the coaster right here. So literally you're gonna be going on this right here and then they're gonna force you to essentially stop on it. And that's gonna feel so weird. Um, but yeah, this is incredible to see. It looks like they are expanding over here on the, uh, the showroom. So I'm assuming this is actually the wider showroom, the one farther in the back of the picture. Um, and as you can see, they're adding more to it. So that is very cool, very cool to see. But literally from just a day or two days, more has been added. So just, just like imagine <laughs> in the next week, we're gonna see so much more over here. And I think that's incredible. I think I'm like, I'm so dumbfounded about it because just how fast they're going. This is so awesome. And I'm gonna keep saying it. We might be getting an opening before 2026. So we just got confirmation of something really cool that's gonna be happening for a quiet place. They're gonna be actually doing a lights on tour all for past members. Uh, these lights on tours are going to be either September 17th or September 25th. Um, and so you're gonna be able to walk essentially through here, the entire quiet place with lights on, and you'll be able to see all of the designs and all of the decorations that you aren't able to see when it's a bit darker. So it's pretty cool they did it last year for Stranger Things. So to be able to see it for a new maze, once again, cannot wait. And then reservations for this is going to be August 21st. So get ready and try to book one of those because they're a lot of fun. And now we have stopped by the studio tour because we got an announcement that the Terra Tram is back once again and we are going to get Terra Tram enter the Blumhouse. Now, Enter the Blumhouse is literally what it sounds like. It's going to be focused on, uh, well, Blumhouse movies such as Megan, The Purge, Freaky, and a Black Phone. Um, I don't think I forgot any there, but those are gonna be the IPs that we're going to see in this Terra Tram. And I'm not too stoked about it, to be honest. Um, I hope we truly do enter a Blumhouse um, as that is the title of the Terra Tramp. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Us getting a Blumhouse Terra Tramp, I, in my opinion, it's kind of, kind of lackluster. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too excited about that one. We have stopped by to look at dead exposure in the valley. And as you guys can see, we've added a little bit of something. Right in the front, there is a sign now uh, that says Research and Development Annex 2248. Now, I don't know what the number represents just yet, but they're still adding stuff to the facade. I mean, John Murney did talk about that there is still something that needs to go inside of the truck itself. Uh, in the trunk over here, there's supposed to be uh, some kind of person. I don't know what person, but there's gonna be a person there. So I'm assuming we're gonna have, you know, a fake body inside the truck over there. Um, and then we're gonna have a scare actor next to it. Could be wrong though. But yeah, they're not done with this facade. I thought they were, but look, they added another thing. And if you guys know what those numbers might represent, 
Let me know in the comment section down below. But I cannot wait for this maze right here. I mean, everyone's starting to do their most anticipated maze lists right now. And, uh, well, this one for me is, is quite up there. I'm not going to hit the studio tour today because the wait time is way too long. But the facade over here for uh, TCM, the signs are up now. And uh, it's wide open. If you go on the tram, you're able to see the full facade. So that's pretty cool. But, of course, the day I go, it is a 70-minute one last look around here at all the 60th anniversary studio tour stuff. Um, I will not be here this weekend. Or maybe I will. Who knows? I mean, shoot, there's construction updates like almost every day now. Um, but goodbye to the 60th anniversary studio tour stuff. It was a lot of fun. Sunday is the last day, August 11th and August 12th. All this will essentially be shut down taken out and then it's gonna be all HHN stuff essentially if, if they do the same thing like last year for this plaza it's gonna be all Dios de los Muertos themed so yeah get your pictures if you haven't if you haven't been here yet if you didn't come yet this, this weekend is the final weekend and I know some people have the weekend blocked out uh, on their passes so you know I wish you the best of luck if you haven't checked it out yet Oh, <gasps> it's you and you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're checking out my lanyard. <laughs> yes, Me? you, you. Yes, you guys are so popular. Everyone loves you guys. So much love for you guys. Yes, love. <laughs> We also got to talk about the confirmed final maze. It is, of course, the Weekend Nightmare Trilogy. I think that is so awesome. We're going to have three different versions, essentially, of Abel's stories and music. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of After Hours. We're going to have a little bit of Don FM. And then I'm assuming the third one is going to be music from his newest album so uh, man i'm excited for that the trilogy the storyline seems like that this is going to be pretty big because we only have it in hollywood and it seems like they've even got abel the weekend on board with it he's been tweeting about it murdy had to come down here to la from ireland way back in january to essentially have a meeting about it so it couldn't be done online and uh, yeah, I mean, we haven't been able to see any construction for it because it's in sound stage 15. That is where Stranger Things was last year and it has been kept shut majority of the time. So, um, you know, that's gonna be a facade that we've never seen before. Um, and I'm hoping that it's going to be huge. I'm hoping that it's going to connect with maybe one of his music videos. But um, yeah, that is the final maze announcement. What do you guys think of that? Are you happy that the weekend is coming back? All I know is that that's going to bring a huge chunk of fans once again, like it did back two years ago. And speaking of the 60th anniversary of the studio tour, there's discounts going on right now uh, for the t-shirt and the jacket. I know for sure um, on all the merch, it's on sale. I don't know about these if they they don't have a little sale price on the back or anything like that so honestly you would have to go ask in the front yeah as you see it still says $14 but you might have to ask in the front because even some of like the t-shirts and jackets don't have the sale price on there um, it just says sale uh, like this t-shirt I know dropped to $22 for now you know, this weekend it might be even cheaper. And then for the jacket, it's dropped from $60 to $42, which is actually a pretty good deal. And then the big ticket item right now is the popcorn bucket, literally dropped to $20. As you can tell, <laughs> there's only one here right now. So yeah, if you're looking at buying any of these things, look for the little sales tags. And then also, you know, if you have any questions about them, go ask the people in the front and they will gladly help you. Like, see, look, some of these have the little sale tag. 
and some of them don't. So literally take it up there and then ask them if they're on sale or not. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for my time here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I am bidding farewell to the 60th anniversary studio tour as well, next time I'm here, it will not be the 60th anniversary anymore. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we post a video. As a reminder, we do all construction updates for Universal Studios Hollywood and for Halloween Horror Nights. With all that being said, my name is Mr. E, and I'll see you guys on the next extraordinary adventure.